The country of Zimbabwe features several of the richest men in all of Africa, so naturally you need to know how they spend that billionaire wealth. It's impossible to discuss the wealthiest people in Zimbabwe without discussing the one and only Strive Maseyiwa. This London-based billionaire from Zimbabwe is the richest man to ever come from the country. Currently, he has an impressive net worth of around $3.2 billion. He sure does know how to spend it, too. Like any truly incredible billionaire, he has a true eye for properties. Look no further than his penthouse pad in New York City's El Dorado Towers. He purchased two adjacent units in the 29-story tower at 300 Central Park. It features five bedrooms spread across the top two floors of the building. Reportedly, it cost him somewhere in the neighborhood of $29 million. The luscious penthouse has a creamy white color scheme with black windows and gorgeous hardwood floors. This aesthetic stretches through the living areas, the kitchen, and even the bedrooms. Then there's the black winding staircase that leads down to an amazing library with natural wood walls. By far the most impressive thing about this property is its terrace. The exposed brickwork, greenery, and unbelievable view of the city simply cannot be beaten. It's no wonder this place was previously owned by the likes of Moby, Alec Baldwin, and Michael J. Fox. Despite the fact that he's originally from Zimbabwe, he doesn't actually spend much time in his home country anymore. After battling it out in court to get his company Econet through the local telecommunications monopoly, he eventually was forced to flee the nation for South Africa. There he still keeps a $610,000 house for when business leads him back home. It features five bedrooms, five bathrooms, four garages, and a pool. Today he's actually most commonly associated with living in the United Kingdom. There he has one amazing property. His London mansion is reportedly worth somewhere around six million dollars and it's much more fitting with the image he has as one of the most successful men in the entire world. It's an enormous estate with gorgeous exposed stonework. While we haven't been given a full tour of the estate, we do know that the stonework aesthetic runs through the entire house. He likes to keep this home private, as well as his rumored $2.5 million Surrey mansion as well. While most people with his kind of fortune would own a fleet of fancy supercars, Strive is not that kind of billionaire. He made it clear that he only owns two cars, one in the UK and one back home in South Africa. Not only that, but he has no interest in purchasing any more. Of course, when those cars are a Jag and a Lexus, it makes sense that he wouldn't need any other rides. His UK ride is the Jaguar F-Type SBR. It's worth around $45,000 with a top speed of 186 miles per hour and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. As far as his ride back home goes, he's got a Lexus LS500 worth upwards of 62 grand. It can also hit speeds of 136 miles per hour with a 0 to 60 time of 4.6 seconds. If you're only going to have a pair of cars in your garage, might as well go with cars like that. Speaking of luxury, like every good billionaire out there, Strive likes to fly in a classy private jet. In fact, his jet is one of his most expensive assets. He has a limited edition Bombardier Challenger 850. These beautiful pieces of aeronautic art go for over $35 million. They can accommodate up to 19 people. Along with that, they come with a kitchen, a living room, and multiple luxury bathrooms. If you're going to live between two continents, you pretty much gotta have a jet like this, right? Of course, buying massive properties and luxury vehicles are not his main passions. He is actually a serious reader. Apparently, he spends most of his free time with his own personal 
library with his nose in a good book. In fact, he stated that his collection is worth well over $40,000. His favorite subject appears to be books on business, though he could be getting these business lessons from pretty much anything. When asked about his favorite book on business, he didn't exactly mention a book by Lee Iacocca. No, his all-time favorite business book is actually the Bible. He literally said if you study it intending to extract principles on how to set up and manage a business effectively, you'll be amazed to learn it has everything you need. So who knows what other books he considers to be business classics. Like most successful African businessmen though, Strive is all about giving back. His philanthropy is legendary. He has invested millions into the next generation, hoping to build a better Africa for the future. For starters, he has a foundation that provides a ton of scholarships. Seriously, he has provided scholarships for over 250 thousand young Africans. Not only that, but he supports over 40,000 orphans through educational initiatives. His philanthropy goes far beyond education as well. He's an avid environmentalist and co-founder of the Carbon War Room that seeks to reduce the carbon footprint around the world. Then there's his work in the medical field looking to curb Africa's various health crises such as Ebola, cancer, and over $10 million to the fight against cholera. During the pandemic, he had a huge part in helping various countries in Africa fight against COVID-19. That included more than doubling the monthly wages of doctors in Zimbabwe after they went on strike during the heavier days of the pandemic. Frankly, one could talk for hours about Strive's philanthropic works alone. He's won several different awards and is widely regarded as one of the most influential people in Africa and around the world. Next up, we have the politician and controversial public figure, Philip Chiangua. He scored a net worth of over $1.2 billion. He's been all too happy to show people his famous car collection and his taste in houses as well. He's escorted people through his mansion in the village. The place is enormous and gorgeous with three stories that you climb up through a magnificent winding staircase after going past the hot tubs and pool. It also reportedly features six bedrooms, a home gym, and a 14-seat movie theater, even though he didn't exactly show those off. As far as cars go, he has a very different philosophy than Strive does. Philip has absolutely no problem whatsoever showing off his fleet of luxury vehicles. Those include his Hummer H2, which is worth upwards of 24 grand, his Mercedes-Benz S600 V12, worth $200,000, his $50,000 Chrysler Crossfire, his $60,000 Range Rover Vogue, his $475,000 Rolls-Royce Phantom, and his gorgeous Maybag GLS 6000, worth around $160,000. He is also an avid fan of football, having spent his entire life investing money into the sport. He even became the head of the Zimbabwe Football Association, otherwise known as ZIFA. Of course, this is where the controversies really started stacking up. This included a ban from the World Cup for failing to pay coaching staff. Then there's the widespread mismanagement that led to many board resignations in protest. And then we have the accusations that he embezzled over $2 million from the organization. Despite being a lifelong fan, Zifa formally banned him for life due to these scandals. Even billions of dollars can't save you from yourself. Shingi Manyeza made his fortune as head of the hotel chain African Sun. This fortune is to the tune of around $2 billion. He is the final billionaire we've got in Zimbabwe, but he doesn't exactly live like one. He left his position at the African Sun to put all of his time and money towards becoming an infamous religious leader. He was the senior pastor at Faith Ministries Church. There he put his money to the test by investing in sustainable youth programs and disadvantaged 
communities in the country. This all came crashing down when his daughter exposed him to controversy online, stating that he wasn't exactly a faithful husband and role model after all. Despite sacrificing that rich man's lifestyle for the church, the scandal forced him to step down in January of 2021. Despite all this flashy success, Zimbabwe is still the 22nd poorest country in the world. Even with heavily philanthropic billionaires, this country continues to struggle.